Hello, crafty friends. Okay, so yesterday I, I crackled these and this is what I came up with for my eggs. I think that's pretty stinking sweet. So we're going to do the blue one. So I had originally, I got in a real um, creative craze because I wanted to use flowers that I had made but I didn't have enough made in the right colors and so on. And so it kind of put me in a little of a a funk or something. I, it was like I then I just got distressed and I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. And so anyway, then I was just like, oh, good grief. Just do this thing. So that is what I did. Now on that one, none of those are ones that I made but on this one these two pink ones are so let me show you i'm just putting little pearls in the center because i want them to coordinate but not to look exactly alike so i cut out um, i tied a, a bow i had some seam binding that matched and so i tied a bow and i had these little carrot charms and i'm going to cut the end of this charm off because I don't want that to to show. And Ronnie sharpened my clipper, so they are on the money. Okay, so now the ears are this this burlap paper, which I think is so stinking cute. And even look at the back. So this is adhesive paper. So what I did. Let's cut it in half and then cut it in half like this and adhere these two pieces together. Okay. And Bestie's uh, brands are at her house, so y'all got me all by myself. But we have had online school today and they've taken a break for lunch. Um, so I am doing this thing. All right, so there's those two pieces. Like that, and like that, okay. And then, you can see here, I just kind of cut me some ears. And I'm not too concerned about them looking exactly like the others. Because, you know, bunnies are different. I'm sure they're different just like we are. Everybody looks different. Sort of the same, sort of different. I'm going to cut part of that off. Okay, then I'm just going to lay this down on here, cut me a little ear, like that, and this is, I'm just winging this, so, <clears throat> you know gonna be a lot of trimming happening. Maybe not a lot, but some. Some. That's a respectable ear. All right. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Cut that in a little bit right there. And a little bit right there. Okay. So let me slide that over. <clears throat> now, I, um, well, that's a lot different in size. Let's trim that up just a pinch. 
I um, distressed around the edges, so we're going to do that. There we go. All right, let's see. This and this. So. And I think this makes a ton of difference in the overall look. Of these little ears. See me. So there's that one. then with this I'm actually just gonna just so it has just a little bit of difference in the color Actually, I'm going to hot glue this in. gave them a little bend because I didn't want them just to be so flat in your face and that's easy to do just kind of work it with your fingers you know till it just gets a little subtle bend in it all right so then I took my ears and I glued them on up here at the top and then, oh, I made a mess. I have this um, burlap trim, and I was unsure at that time, and I could probably get away with not even doing it, but I'm going to do it because it looks pretty on the back, I think. So I'm just going to run a line of glue around like I want it to lay. And carefully run it around that just to cover up his ears Cut this off and then I put another row on there which I really wouldn't have to do now but you know like I said I want them to look alike so here we go
So now, oh, it's got a little headband. Look how good the carrot turned out, y'all. Haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna decorate it, but I love it with that purple. Okay, so then I, I had some um, mulberry paper, which I love, and that's this lighter color. And so I just cut out some little springtime-like sprays, you know. And, um, and then I took a marker and gave them some little, like, darken the stem and these little areas where these leaves are still folded up. Darken that a little bit. And then just made tiny little lines down the leaves. That's that one. Whoa, that was a fat line. Okay, so I'm gonna probably put that piece on this side of this bunny. And then, let's draw a line down here. And just a little bit on either side. Because that's going to dry lighter than it is. And then this, I'm just going to kind of feather it out. looks kind of cool and then this one I will darken everything but the berries then I'm gonna go back in with um, my white gel pen and you know give the, those a little bit of white bit of this on these until it doesn't want to work. There we go. Okay. And just a little bit on the stem. Like that. Okay. that one right off. That's okay. You know, everything's different in nature. <laughs> Actually, I could glue that back on. And maybe I will in a minute. Alright, so I'm just gonna just touch the tops of these with white. Not much. Just a little something something. And there. Okay. Let's glue this back on. Well, get in there. Okay. Just stick that right back on there. And nobody but me and you will ever know. Okay. Now comes the fun part. So I'm just gonna start kinda layering my greenery. Maybe I 
I'll put that one up there. All right. Okay, so let's set these side by side because I haven't decided yet if these are going to be on a garland or or what. So I, I just want to make sure that they are kind of balanced, you know. So sometimes a mirror image is a good way to go. Sometimes just the fact that I'm using the same kind of flowers is enough. But it helps to have that little bit of reference there, you know. there and my flowers have got um, diamond dust on them so I'll, I'm probably gonna have to put some on there too just cuz sounds like there's a birdie outside my window Oh, there he was. So I'm moving the bush. All right. Hmm, there it is. And there they are. Let's see how long that took me. 17 minutes. Not too bad. So, there's an idea. For these and then either later today it just depends how school goes I may do these two and this one and um if y'all if y'all haven't seen these I'm sure you have because I have them every year but these wooden shapes you know and I'll <clears throat> excuse me um I don't have one over here but you know what they even make adorable gnomes you can you can get a baby sock and slide it over the top of it and put a nose right there and put a heart for its feet and you got your and a beard of course. Gotta have a beard. But you got yourself a gnome. Or, you know, it can be an egg. <laughs> but, you know, there's so many so many things. So many things you can have fun with. You just gotta set it in front of yourself and say, Hmm, let me see. Let me see what comes to my head. So anyway, there is my hashtag. 15 magical minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. And y'all get out there and make something. And be safe and warm. This weather, whew, it's crazy. We have like, uh, I don't know how many inches of snow. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And there's no sleds to be found. You know, so I think I told y'all we, we had a twin size air mattress. You should have just laid us outside yesterday afternoon with some jump ropes tied around that thing, dragging the kids everywhere. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Anything happens in the South. Anything. No holes barred. And then, I should have gotten a picture of this because it was hysterical. It, it was actually a yellow canoe, but it looked like a banana. And there was somebody in a four-wheeler, and it was tied behind the back of it, and they were pulling the person in there, and it looked like they were riding along in a big yellow banana. <laughs> and, of course, the kids were like, I want to ride in a big yellow banana. I was like, me too. <laughs> okay, girls, be safe, be warm. Love you guys. Blessings.